Six Sigma applies statistics to define, measure, analyze, verify, and control processes. In fact, Six Sigma teams usually use methodologies known as DMAIC or DMADV to accomplish improvements and develop controls for processes. DMAIC stands for Define, Measure, Analyze, Improve, and Control. These are the five phases of a Six Sigma project to improve a process that already exists. When developing a new process, teams use DMADV, which stands for Define, Measure, Analyze, Design, and Verify. We will discuss both these terms in detail later in this course. The Roots of Statistical Process Control, which provide a backbone for Six Sigma methods, began with the development of the normal curve by Carl Friedrich Gauss in the 19th century. We know today that the normal curve is just one of several possible probability distribution models. It is perhaps the most widely used model, and the other models developed from the normal curve. Probability distribution models will be discussed in later videos on statistics. In the early part of the 20th century, statistical process control received another big boost thanks to contributions from an engineer and scholar named Walter Schuart. Schuart's contributions to quality are many, but two specific ideas stand out. First, Schuart was the first person to closely relate sigma level and quality. He defined a process in need of correction as one that is performing at 3 sigma. If you look back to the previous lectures and the theoretical Amazon example, the cost difference between 4 sigma and 3 sigma is over $78 million. In comparison, the difference between 5 and 4 sigma is only approximately $7.6 million. Because errors and costs exponentially increase as sigma level decreases, Schuart's definition has very practical applications in business. While Six Sigma as a method seeks to move ever toward less than 3.4 defects per million opportunities, it is also true that if the quality of a process decreases, as it approaches 3 Sigma, the costs associated with errors increase substantially. Second, Schuart is considered the father of control charts. Control charts will be covered in depth in the lectures on advanced statistics. These control charts are a critical component of statistical process control that lets organizations maintain improved performance after a Six Sigma initiative. At a time when scholars were writing about the theoretical application of statistics in a growing number of fields, Schuart developed ways to apply these concepts to manufacturing and industrial processes specifically. During the same time period, W. Edwards Deeming was working for the U.S. Department of Agriculture. A physicist and mathematician, Deeming was in charge of teaching courses at the agency's graduate school and he arranged for Schuart to come and speak there. Later, Deeming brought Schuart's statistical concepts to the United States Census Bureau, applying his theories outside of an industrial or manufacturing environment for possibly the first time. One of Deeming's ideas is called the PDC A cycle, or Plan Do Check Act cycle. The idea is that improvement comes when you recognize there is a need for change and make a plan to create improvement. Next, you do something by testing your ideas. Using the results of the test, you check or verify that your improvements are working. Then you act, bringing your improvements to a production environment or scaling improvements outside of the test environment. The fact that PDCR is a cycle means it never ends, there are always improvements to be made. This is a core tenet of Six Sigma. Following World War II, Deeming worked in Japan on behalf of the United States government in several capacities. While in post-war Japan, Deeming befriended statisticians and convinced at least one notable engineer that statistical process control was relevant to Japan's need to drastically drive economic and production performance to overcome damage from the war. In the end, Deeming became a valued teacher and consultant to manufacturing companies in Japan, planting the ideas and concepts that would soon become the Toyota production system, or Lean Six Sigma.